Golden Fields of Wheat heralded the month of September in 1876 as Civil War General Lew Wallace boarded a train in Crawfordsville, Indiana that would take him to Indianapolis for the Third National Soldiers' Reunion. The train rumbled to life and started its eastward journey, leaving the setting sun in its trail. Wallace encountered other former soldiers as he passed through the train car. But one in particular left a lasting impression. Robert Ingersoll, who fought under Wallace at Shiloh, was now the nation's most prominent agnostic. He was a renowned orator who toured the country challenging religious beliefs. Ingersoll invited his general to join him in a conversation. As the train continued toward the state capitol, Wallace asked for the right to choose the topic of the exchange, and his themes were all of a religious nature. He gave them to Ingersoll, and here is Lou's description of what happened. I sat spellbound, listening to a medley of argument, eloquence, wit, satire, audacity, irreverence, poetry, brilliant antithesis, and pungent excoriation of believers in God, Christ, and heaven, the like of which I had never heard. <laughs> he vomited forth ideas and arguments like an intellectual volcano. Ingersoll's claims had a potent impact on Wallace. They caused him to analyze his own convictions as never before. It is necessary now to confess that my attitude with respect toward religion had been one of indifference. I had heard it argued times innumerable, always without interest. Yet here was I now moved as never before, and by what? The most outright denials of all human knowledge of God, Christ, heaven, and the hereafter, which figures so in the hope and faith of the believing everywhere. Was the colonel right? He made me ashamed of my ignorance. I was aroused for the first time in my life to the importance of religion. I resolved to study the subject. Wallace called his study an incidental employment, an undertaking that would keep him busy with research for the next four years. The result, Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, was published in 1880 and became the best-selling novel of the century. Author John Swansburg wrote, it's one of the great, if little-known, ironies in the history of American literature. Having set out to win another soul to skepticism, Robert Ingersoll instead inspired a biblical epic that would rival the actual Bible for influence and popularity in Gilded Age America. And what did Wallace have to say about his accomplishment? It only remains to say that I did as I resolved with results. First, the book Ben-Hur, and second, a conviction amounting to absolute belief in God and the divinity of Christ. 